Hello, today's Bulb Log Video Diary is a bit of an experiment because I've just bought myself a new little compact camera so I'm going to try and see how well it can do a video for me so this is it, it's a little Panasonic Lumix it's really good with still pictures so now I'm going to see how it gets on with some of the plant work and, and the sound so here we are in one of the bulb houses, the crocus just coming, crocus serotinus here, over here, this tiny little Sternbergia gruteriana. This is, unlike many, this is true gruteriana. I've seen many gruterianas that to me just look like Sternbergia sicula. So we we'll move around and around you can see there's lots of leaves coming plenty plenty leaves and here we have crocus cochi anus go right down inside and see how this wee camera copes looking good from the viewfinder up here we have a scylla obtuse folia you can see the different <clears throat> habit of the different spikes. This one came a bit earlier and it's a bit sparse and tall, whereas this is a bit better flowered. So if I just spin around, some more crocus coming. Crocus. Ball jealous. different forms of Cochianus. Of course we have all these in the garden as well but here we just have some in the collection to in the bulb, bulb house so we can enjoy them if the weather's a bit nasty outside and indeed it has been I've just come back from being in Uppsala for the best part of a week and during my time away and the time just preceding going away the weather was dreadful so if I go around here down to this sand bed it's looking good with crocuses those of you that have read the bulb blog for a long time will know I, I strove to keep this clear of moss and weeds finally admitting defeat or deciding I didn't want to do all the work required so I've just been leaving it and the bulbs don't seem to mind look here's cyclamen seedlings down here cyclamen comb seedlings there's the leaves of comb of course it'll flower much later in the winter there's some cyclamen hedrofolium there here we have some of the speciosis white speciosis hybrids various other crocus hybrids popping about in here come over winds blowing things about but everywhere I look in the garden if I poke about crocus here's crocus this is crocus pinaticus a bit battered because as I say the weather's been poor in fact it's quite stormy and wet there's crocus speciosus lurking about down in there in the garden it's the trees still got leaves but they'll be coming down very soon spin around to look to the south you can see some of the acers colouring up and the berries up there let's pop into the other bulb, but one of the other bulb houses, this one, the sand beds, so they're coming. Cyclamen, silicicum, a colchicum in the corner there. Several other crocus. Here's the difference between a binoticus protected. Really good. Well, let's focus. See the inner three petals, short, lovely dark. 
branch stigma. Different forms of Cochianus and Pulchellus. Again, lots of leaves. It's early days in these beds. But there is plenty coming. This, I think, is going to be Sternbergia clusia. Another couple here. Sternbergia sicula is over here. Been flowering earlier. So let's wander on out. This frame down here, I've planted out most of the flowering stuff. There's a few crocus appearing there. Most of that will come in the spring. So I'll take a shortcut across the, these stones. We can head off in this direction over the Cyclamen hedrifolium, a big white one that flowered earlier. Great big old corm under there. Up here to this group of Cyclamen. Hedrifolium, this is the silver leafed forms. So lots of silver leaves, different shapes of leaves, and of course that makes them stand out well. I clear away some of the debris of having been away so much lately, there's so much for me to do in the garden. We just move through here, and I'm feeling the raindrops actually as a walk around so I don't think rain's far away again. Here we have some of the Colchicum Kisselringi. Still holding on just Crocus speciosus and Crocus, what have we got here? Pulchellus. One of the big forms of the some, some are called Zephyr but speciosus types and there's speciosus here, you can see the getting battered by the weather and as well as being eaten by slugs. This is a really good dark, dark form. Now we move round here, across to the rock garden bed. Crocus is still coming up and out. group of Crocus Benaticus with the Azophilas and the yellowing leaves of the Roscoias. Just how the gardens are at this time of year they're The chaos, as I always like to call it, the chaos of autumn. Still some of the Rascoias produces flowers. They'll keep coming, I suppose, until the weather gets a bit cooler. Around this side you'll see there's been more crocus in there. A bit getting battered in the wind and the rain. Let's just wander this way. A group of Colchicum speciosum with a very dark tube. Dark floral tube. Lovely flowers with this white center. I just wander up for the last few minutes. Everywhere this as we go there's crocus seeding around and self seeded and they're pushing up. If it's incredible if we just get a bit of warmth so they catch the sunshine, how they open 
and become much more prominent than when they're sitting shut. Up here in the new bed beside the pond, the subject of this week's bulb log. And down, this is, I think nearly everything I'm seeing here is Crocus bonaticus, because I planted out some pots of seedlings. You can see the wonderful form. Crocus bonaticus. I'm putting my hand in both to show the scale but also to help the, the camera see where I want the focus to be. Because without my hand there maybe it's looking beyond to the pine needles. So there's some. Now if we just move around here slightly darker ones attracting the hoverflies. You can see the hoverflies there coming and pollinating and there's plenty of them around here just now. So all across this bed as I say we've got the Crocus bonaticus. And there I'll, with this view, across the bed, the new bed beside the pond, I'll go in and end with one more close up of this because I just love this crocus. So thanks for walking with me again today and we'll review this and see how this experiment with my new little compact camera has worked. So thank you. Goodbye, till next time.